it's a money card. There's definitely some money coming to you. What day is it? Friday. Oh, it'll be the housekeeping. No, this is extra money. Oh, good. And you're going on a long journey. Oh, come off it, Sonia. You're making it up. No, I'm not. Oh. The cards never lie. Oh, this is interesting. What? There's a man in your life. Well, of course there is. I'm married to him. <laughs> no, this is someone harbouring passionate thoughts about you. William wouldn't do that, would he? Well, I don't know, he might do. <laughs> I haven't asked him lately. Could be Mr Frobisher, your fencing master. No, no, no. I put a stop to that when he got a bit fresh. Well, according to the cards, he's still hankering after you. Yes, but he's just going to have to hanker. It's a hard enough job keeping a marriage going for 25 years, never mind having affairs. It's not 25, is it? Yeah, it will be next week. Oh, I must say you've worn jolly well. <laughs> yeah, although each anniversary is like getting through your MOT. Oh, I know. <laughs> and husbands rust up quicker than we do. <laughs> so. I read somewhere that it's routine that's the problem. If you keep ringing the changes, it helps. Yes, well, we won't go into that. No, this article said... When he comes in, let him find you in a slinky housecoat, like a mistress, with a bottle of champagne on ice, and give him his favourite meal <laughs> by candlelight. <laughs> Be a bit wasted on William. All he really wants is shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> you better send him over to me, then. It's about the only thing I can cook with safety. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, but what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get dinner ready. Uh, have the lights fused? <laughs> no, dear, I am trying to make it romantic. Why, it's only for William, isn't it? Yes. Come on in. Uh, do you mind if I put the light on? I, I might trip over something. No, 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 no. Carry on. <laughs> now then, what was it you wanted? Um, just a drop of whiskey. I've got a guy coming to supper. Oh, lovely. Well, uh, will that be enough? Oh, plenty. He has more than one. He gets funny ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Mum. Three, two, nine, four. Esther? Yeah? Darling, I'm sorry. I'm going to be late tonight. Oh, no. Yes, I've got to see a client before he catches a train. Oh, are you going to have dinner with him? No, 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 no. No, I'll be home about nine. You have yours and leave mine in the oven, OK? I don't know why you don't live in town and come home at weekends. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the answer. Anyway, I must dash now, darling. Bye. Bye. Oh. <coughs> Been delayed, has he? Yes. I'm afraid he's got to see a client. Oh, that was always your father's excuse. <laughs> oh, mother. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. No. Oh. Darling. What? <laughs> I'm sorry to wake you. Oh, oh that's all right. Uh, are you not feeling well? Of course. Why? Well, We've got your dressing gown on. <laughs> <laughs> William, you are hopeless. Why? Well, it, this is a house coat. Oh. I bought it this afternoon specially. Oh. Thought you might like it. Wouldn't fit me. <laughs> oh, look, if you're going to make a joke, make sure it's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I tend to tail off after 9.30. Yes, and after 25 years, too. Oh, come on. I know I'm a bit late, but how else have I upset you? Well, you come in here, you make stupid remarks about my appearance, and you haven't even kissed me. I did. You didn't? I did. On your head, you were dozing. Well, very passionate. You might try my shin sometime. <laughs> it's all the same to you. I'll have a drink instead. Oh, I bet you wouldn't be so half-hearted if you were visiting a mistress. Oh, well, I'm not, am I? Oh, so you admit there would be a difference? Oh, well, of course. I mean, I wouldn't just saunter in. I'd be in a hell of a rush. <laughs> Why? Because you'd have a meal waiting for me at home. Oh, 
<laughs> you mean you could eat with her and then come home and have another meal? Oh, yes, you can work up quite an appetite with the mistress, you know. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even bother with the meal. I just rush in, grab her by the waist, <laughs> and I say, Oh, you're driving me insane, Eloise. Eloise? Yeah, she's half French. <laughs> Which half? You'll find out. <laughs> I know this is madness, but I can't help myself. Oh, I feel the same, William. I know you do, you little minx. Why don't you leave your wife? I can't. I'm greedy. I want both of you. Oh. Does Esther suspect anything? My God, I hope not. Oh. Sorry. Oh. What excuse have you made for tonight? I told her I was visiting a client. Oh. Oh, very clever. <laughs> you did not know that I had your favorite meal waiting? No. Oui, oui, shepherd's pie. Oh! <laughs> My God, you know how to excite a man. Yes. Does your wife ever give you it? Only on my birthday. <laughs> But it's not as good as yours. Oh, <laughs> well, I must give you my recipe sometime. Yes. <laughs> but first, a kiss. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's better. No, it isn't. Why not? I'm jealous. Jealous? Jealous of what? I get a peck on the head, Eloise gets a smacker on the lips. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake, do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we must have supper like this more often. Yeah. Have some more wine. Doing you good. Right. Mm -hmm. And I take back everything I said about your shepherd's pie. It was perfect. Thank you. Much better than Eloise's is, is. <laughs> well, they don't go in for it much, the French. What a bet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know we're just fooling about, but have you ever actually... Uh... <laughs> the answer's no. Hmm. If you had, will you tell me? The answer's still no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think if it just happened once, on the spur of the moment, uh, something you couldn't help, I think I might possibly just forgive you. All right. I might take you up on that someday. Oh, no. <laughs> Too late now. That's rather sneaky. Why? Well, you might have told me before. What about all those wasted years? Oh, well, was there someone you fancied? Not anyone in particular. Oh, good. Oh, so many. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky to have you still around then, huh? Yeah, you are. What about you? <laughs> Moi? <laughs> oh, well, one, two, <laughs> three, four. Before you get into double figures, I should warn you that I planned a little celebration for our 25th. Oh, well, in that case, it's only nine. Oh. <laughs> Are we um, eating somewhere, then? Somewhere, yes. Yeah, should I, yeah? Buy a new dress for it. No, no, I wouldn't bother. Skirt and jumper will do fine. <laughs> Not very smart, then? Not particularly, no. No. Uh, who is it? It was that little place on the, um... Oh. Brompton Road? No, no. The, um... Champs-Élysées. Mm. Paris? <laughs> <laughs> we go on Friday to Victoria, then to Gatwick, and then zoom. Oh, Paris. What made you think of Paris? Little bird put it in my head. Little bird? Eloise. <laughs> oh, oh, wait now. Um, where's the phone? Seems to be coming from here. Oh, how do you know? 3294. Hester. Hello, Mother. I'm sorry, I couldn't find the phone. Uh, could you come over right away? What's up? It's your father. He's put his back out. Oh, oh. <laughs> What have you been up to? Oh, no, no, no. Listen, we were just finishing dinner when the old fool went down on his knees to propose again, and now he can't get up. <laughs> You're joking! It's not funny! <laughs> Easy now. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Would you mind not laughing? <laughs> sorry, Dad. It's just that you look like a St. Bernard. <laughs> Only heavier. Yeah. Come on. Now, come on. Now. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get you to the bed, all right? Oh. That's all right. No, oh. I can put him on there. Yeah, come on. Oh. 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 Hester, Hester, oh. take us to the room. Oh. Keep your voice down. Remember the neighbours. Oh. <laughs> Shall I phone Dr. Summers? Well, you can do. Oh, I, I'd rather you didn't. Why? Well, he might get the wrong impression. <laughs> Mother. Well, you did. Oh. Oh, that's better. 
Oh, I'll be all right in the morning. In the morning? You can't stay here all night. This is the only bed. Well, it's big enough for two. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I'm not sleeping with you. You don't have to undress. What? <laughs> not unless you want to. Oh, <laughs> I don't think you'll be very active, Nancy. Just oh. get him over to the house and he can sleep in your spare. Oh. I don't think we'll get him down the stairs. He's immobile. Oh, well, then he can stay here and I'll come over and spend the night with you. Do you want some pajamas, Guy? Oh, I couldn't manage them, old boy. How about some brandy? Oh, I could manage that. <laughs> oh, men. They're a problem from the moment they're born. Now, just make sure you're up and about first thing in the morning. Oh, I'll do my best. But you haven't answered my question yet. What question? Will you marry me? Oh, well, I fiddlesticks. <laughs> Morning, Nancy. Oh, good morning. What news of Guy? Oh, he's malingering. <laughs> well, that one's for you, darling. Ooh, looks like income tax. Well, you're welcome to it, then. <laughs> yeah. It's early, Sonia. I knew someone was missing. I've just run out of eggs. If you have any other startling news, don't hesitate to tell us. <laughs> have you got any, Hester? Yes, on the side. Help yourself. Thanks. It's early. Who? Oh? That's fantastic. <laughs> Never happens to me. I told you, didn't I? I knew it. Oh, How? I made a fortune. I saw she come into money. You're joking. No, it's right. And she said I was going on a journey, and we are, to Paris. <laughs> no. Yes. And what about my third prediction? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I, I don't think we'll talk about that. Oh, I'm not so sure. Come on, tell all, Madame Sonia. <laughs> well, according to the cards, she's got a secret admirer. What? <laughs> <laughs> Two out of three, you can't win them all. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Had a good day. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> What's new with you? Oh, lots of things, actually. Yeah, so I see. You've been stocking up for Paris? Yes, I got some new clothes and some shoes. Look, oh. do you like these? Yes. Do they uh, fit you? Uh, no, <laughs> not quite. But they're an exact match with this, see? Oh. <laughs> Why didn't you get the right size? They didn't have the colour of my size. <laughs> Ask a silly question. <laughs> anyway, they'll be all right when I've worn them in a bit. Does the costume fit? Oh, of course. <laughs> Just needs a couple of inches off the length. <laughs> You're insane, you know that. Well, you want me to be smart, don't you, when I'm walking down the Champs Elysees? <laughs> well, I don't have to carry you. Oh, shall I get that? No, you might break a leg. <laughs> oh, hello, John. Evening, old man. I'm sorry to bother you. Is Sonia here? Uh, no, no, but do come in. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Would you like a drink? You look worried. I am. The fact is, I've forgotten her birthday. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's John. I think he's in need of a stiff whisk. Yes, I am. What's up? I clean forgot it was Sonia's birthday. Oh, dear. I arrived home and found a note saying, how's your amnesia? And then I remembered. <laughs> I could kick myself. She may beat you to it. Uh, it's an awful feeling. I've never done it before. I can imagine. Here, yeah. sit down and knock that back. Uh -huh. Cheers. <laughs> I suppose you, uh, you haven't anything I could borrow. Oh, I'm a... sorry, old man, no. Sonia's cleared us out. <laughs> Look here, what about this blouse? Oh, I don't think she'd like anything second-hand. Well, it's brand new. I just bought it this afternoon. Really? Yes. Look, I've still got the bag. Just say that you remembered halfway through the day and you popped out to get it. Do you huh? think it'll fit her? Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Probably doesn't fit Hester, either. <laughs> well, it's jolly kind of you. Yeah, here's the receipt. Oh, <laughs> Hello, darling. What are you doing here? Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sonia. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> well, thank you. I bet you thought I'd forgotten. Yes, I did. Well, I remember just in time. And here's your present. Thanks. Oh, can I open it now? Why not? Would you like a drink? A sherry, please. One birthday sherry coming up. Shannon's, where's that? 
Oh, what's the name of that street? Knightsbridge? Knightsbridge, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Look at this, Hester. Lovely. I bet Hester would like one like that. <laughs> Put it on, see if it fits. 34, oh, I think it's going to be a bit tight. Well, you can always change it. Can you remember the assistant you had? Uh, she was a woman. Well, that's a great help. She had big eyes. She what? <laughs> Looked a bit like William. <laughs> like William? Well, do you mean she had glasses? That's it, oh. glasses. Well, I expect when I describe you to her, she'll remember you all right. I wouldn't bank on it. <laughs> oh, would Madam care to try the telequads again? You no, know, I don't think I like any of these. I think I'll leave it. Thank uh, you. Very well. Sorry. <laughs> um, excuse me. Yes. Um, I bought a flowers here yesterday and I was served by a middle-aged lady with glasses. Oh, that would be Mrs. Blake. She's in the cubicle. Oh, thank you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Can I help you, madam? Yes, I was here yesterday. I bought a blouse and I'm afraid there's a bit of a problem with it. AC? And you wish to change it? Uh, yes, well, sort of. I see. Uh, what was wrong with it? Well, nothing. It was absolutely perfect. In fact, I would like to buy it from you again. <laughs> Fun. Uh, no, you see, I'm not the person who wants to change it. That's the lady next door. I see. The lady next door? Yes. And you bought it for her? Oh, no, 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 no. But she's the one who's coming in to change it. And she will say to you, uh, my husband bought this blouse here. Your husband? No, 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 my, not my husband, her husband. You see, I had to give her husband the blouse for a birthday present, and unfortunately it doesn't fit. Uh, is he a transvestite? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, um, I, I wish that you would please concentrate, because it gets complicated. It's quite complicated already. <laughs> yes. You see, I gave it to him to give to her, and she's coming in to give it to you, then you can give it to me, but you sold it to him. I don't recall serving any gentleman. No, of course you don't, because you didn't. <laughs> now, please, concentrate. I'm doing my best. <laughs> oh, John, please come here. I thought I'd just uh, warn the lady of the situation. Yes, yes, I have been trying to do that, but it's not easy. Um, now, this is the gentleman whose wife is coming in to say he bought the blouse here. I see. And what am I supposed to say to her? What just say that you know all about it. And remember that I bought the blouse for my wife and not this lady. You didn't buy the blouse for this lady. Oh. I didn't buy it at all. <laughs> oh, quick, she's here. Quickly, in here. Oh. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I understand you have an assistant here with glasses. Yes, that would be Mrs. Blake. Could I have a word with her, do you think? Certainly, she's over in that cubicle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> can I help you, madam? Yes, you can tell me what the hell my husband's doing with my best friend. I forget now what you told me to say, madam. <laughs> Don't worry, it's too late now. It's all my fault. We were hoping you wouldn't find out. I'm damn sure you were. <laughs> Good going, Hester. Three out of three. Oh, look. <laughs> Shut up, No, I won't. You fool. You've got Some the wrong end of the stick. Borrow the mouth. Just mind your own name. Please, will you kindly keep your voices down? This is Knightsbridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have a marvellous time. I'll keep an eye on the house. And I'll keep an eye on Nancy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> why not? And don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye then. Bye. Bye. Lovely times. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. I think we better follow him because he knows the station. I wish he Come wouldn't on. go so fast. I'm right. uh, Porter, hold on. <laughs> Express. 
so it is. Oh. They must have uh, changed it. <laughs> well, there's no point in traipsing around in those shoes, is there? <laughs> we may as well get on it. It goes via Paris. Are you mad? They can't go on the Orient Express. Why not? I've booked it. <laughs> oh, you wonderful, wonderful man! <laughs> uh, and you're wonderful too. Oh, darling, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm speechless. Well then, it was worth it. <laughs> Please, Monsieur. Uh, Fields. Ah, yes, Monsieur Fields. Will this table be all right? Oh, yes, that looks fine. Thank you. Madame? Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, I uh, hope you enjoy your dinner. I'm sure we will. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful? Amazing. You ordered the champagne cocktail, Monsieur. Ah, uh, yes, I did. Thank you. Bon appetit. Uh, merci. <laughs> your bill, Monsieur? Oh, yes. Oh, it's a bit wonderful. <laughs> Bit worried though. Why? Can't see Agatha Christie. <laughs> Wonder when the first murder's gonna take place. Next time I get a bill like this. <laughs> well, here's to the next 25. I hope there's good. Here's looking at your blue eyes. And if you want me, you won't even have to whistle. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Do you know I could get to like this? Oh, what bliss! Well, the champagne. No, I've just slipped my shoes off. 